Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Instagrammable, photographable, flash proof, luxury makeup look. I know this video is long awaited because I told you guys I was going to post this for hella long now and I haven't. So I'm sorry about that, but it's finally here. Oh, I have mascara on my lid. That's not cute. Sorry if you could see the light in the back. I mean, I guess that's fine, right? We're here for the makeup. Let's get into it. Gonna start off by prepping my skin with the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil by Drunk Elephant. I am not the biggest fan of this for as like skincare, but I do love it to prep the skin. I feel like it just gives me the most glowy, healthy base. And the more you let this set in, so I could have done this before. If you do this like right after your skincare routine and just let it set in for like an hour before putting makeup on it, it makes the biggest difference on your skin. It photographs so well. I mean, you can't see the oil, but your, your skin just looks so healthy when you take pictures and it just looks... You guys, I know you guys have been waiting for this for so long. And I've been talking about it for so long. But this is literally what I was wearing in the picture... I'll post it right here if I can find it. That everyone was like, what are, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Why does your skin look like that? And it was this combo that I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna start off by cleaning up my brows with my Tarte Shape Tape underneath. I'm not a huge fan of this concealer on its own anymore just because I don't like, like the super full coverage look under the eyes. I still use it under the eyes, but I always mix it with another concealer. So I'm just cleaning up just a little bit. I'm not doing too much. I'm also not doing like full glam. So I'm not going to do like full eyeshadow or lashes or anything today. Just because it's not the look I'm looking, I'm going for today. I mean, it's a Monday. Like there's really no reason. A lot of the times when you try to do makeup that's good for pictures, if you know, you know, just trust me, especially for Instagram, it does not look that great in person. Sometimes you need to do a little bit of extra steps, like extra contour that that in person looks absolutely insane but in pictures it just looks perfect without like having to edit your contour or edit your eyeshadow and stuff like that but this combo right here looks so natural so beautiful even in person and obviously you can tell you have makeup on but it's very well done like very nicely done and that's what i love about this i'm very excited to show you guys i'm just doing this first because if i don't do this i'll forget to do it or i'll just get lazy and having like nice Nicely done eyebrows just looks really good. It makes your face look really clean. I have no idea what this is doing. Do you see these patches? Um, I don't know, but we'll cover that up with the shadow. I don't know what's happening today. Well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Let's get into the foundation. So my combo, it's these four products that I'm going to be using. These four products are the staple. Actually, it's five. These five products are the staple, but it's mostly it's mostly these. So I'm gonna show you, okay? Take a screenshot, you're gonna want these, trust me. And then the two foundations. So they are expensive. And I will be trying to find like alternatives. This is the hourglass stick. But this is just the, I don't use this all the time by the way either. So if you wanna have this as like your luxury foundation for like special occasions and stuff, I think that's a really good idea. But this combo, trust me, it just looks so good. I'm gonna be taking pictures after so. You guys will be able to see this is linen right so i just swipe some of the foundation start with the hourglass you can and then what i'll do is put some of the luminous silk on my sponge like two drops and then i'll go all over the face you could obviously use less than this but i like a nice full coverage so i went in with two of the drops did you just see that oh, blood. you guys in person it looks beautiful but with flash it's even more beautiful i like do not under i mean like oh my god you guys don't understand i'll be inserting pictures at the end so you guys can see i recommend blending this combo in with a sponge especially over the oil because when i first tried to do this i used a brush and i did it over the oil and it was just a disaster it was not working out for me 
at all. I was like, I hate this foundation. I hate this oil. I hate them together. This is the worst thing I could have done. The entire day I remember where I was and everything. I just did not feel good. Felt like it was streaky, even blending it out with the sponge after. Like I just did not feel good about it at all. Oh, I was freaking out. But with the sponge, and you make sure you blend this out right? like really well. Now I'll just go in with my ColourPop concealer. They don't have this in my store, at least in my old town anymore, but I'm sure they have it online. I just have not rebought it. It is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I love this one and I have it in the shade 18. I love this concealer. It does oxidize a lot, as you guys can see. It literally just oxidizes like so much, but I just want a little bit more coverage on the cheeks. Then I'll just go in with some cream contour. This is like literally what I do when I'm gonna film or take Instagram pictures. And I want something really fast and I want it to look really good in pics and stuff. This is the routine I always do. I love to focus on the contour because everyone wants to look snatch in pictures. And so I always focus on looking really snatched, focus on my skin looking really nice and natural. Not natural, but like covered enough and natural, you know what I mean? And not so much on the eyeshadow. If I'm going for that kind of look, then obviously the eyeshadow, but most of the days I'm not going for a full glam kind of look. I just want my skin to look good. And my most noticeable feature is like my eyebrows, my lips, my eyes, my eyelashes. I want them to look good when I don't want to wear like fade falsies. I focus more on that. Then I always make sure to grab my sponge and go in and blend that out because you don't want any harsh lines, especially around the jaw. Lately, my contour has been getting so up in my like baby hairs. I guess that's good because I'm taking these hair growth vitamins. I've been having a lot of breakage from all the bleach. I just feel like my hair could not take it. So yeah, that's why I can't go lighter than this. I'm just trying not to like dye it or anything right now because I don't want it to get more damaged. But yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to go to dark soon. I just don't wanna do it now. I don't wanna do it like so soon, you know, because I haven't had this hair color for that long. And I honestly just feel like I'd be throwing all my money down the trash. Putting a little here, 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 just a little bit. And see, I don't like to use that much under my eyes. Still like that. And then for under my eyes to blend that out, I'll go in with my Becca under eye brightener and just right under that focusing it on like the inner corner where i have like the most darkness the most like dark shadows i don't know i love this stuff i'll never stop buying it i actually have not tried like dupes or anything for this so i don't know if they're good i know there's one by like Pilato. Pilato? i think that's brand yeah Pilato. i just don't know where they sell it because i've never seen it at any drugstore near me so I haven't like tried it and I've never ordered it or anything. Okay, the next concealer I'm gonna use is the e.l.f. Creamy, oh my God. Sorry, my office phone started ringing, but it's the, the hydrating one by e.l.f. And I like to use that after the tart right on top because I feel like it just gives it like a hydrating look. If I don't use that one, then I use my bare skin one, but this is the Sephora collection powder. You guys follow me you guys probably already know how much i love this powder like literally so much so so much i like to focus that mainly right here where i have like bigger pores because it literally just shrinks shrinks your pores tiny tiny like oh makes them so small i love it so tiny and then if you guys have not bought this powder I know it's an investment. I know these things are an investment, but wait for your Sephora sale. And if you got a friend who's a VIB Rouge, then get your friend to buy it for you guys. 20% off the low. I got too excited. Gonna put a little bit of this powder underneath my eyes and to bake. Not really bake, okay? I don't really like to do that that much anymore, but just kind of pressing it here and on the sides. Oh my God. This, along with all of the other hydrating products that I put underneath this, are going to make your skin look flawless. I'm talking flawless in photos, okay? Get yourself this powder. If you don't like it, we cannot be friends. 
I'm sorry, that's just, just the way it is. These are like the long lasting blushes, I don't know. My sister got it for me because I used it when we went to Tahoe and I was obsessed. She got it for me for Christmas. Look at this gorgeous color. I like to put it up here. Sometimes I like the high cheekbone. Sometimes I like the really girly, like soft cheekbone. And I looked at the picture and it looks like I had it pretty high. So I'm just trying to recreate that. And as of right now, I like it like this. Like I said, it just depends. It just depends what day it is, how I have powder on right now, how I'm feeling. It just depends. Today I'm feeling the high cheekbone look. Going in with Tequila Tan by Kylie Cosmetics. I saw this TikTok that said, how is Kylie Cosmetics even still like running? Which I agree with. I have all of these same products. Like I've had these for so long. So I haven't like rebought anything. I think the only thing I would rebuy if I couldn't find an exact dupe for it as of right now from her is the ice latte lip liner because that lip liner is my life i don't i would never be able to live without it like it's just so good it's the color and the formula so i'm gonna go with this kkw powder right down my nose to get like that really white line this looks funny but i promise it's gonna look so good I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. duo and using the brown to contour my nose. This is my favorite nose contour brush as of right now. This is what I've been using and I love it. Love it, love it for a nose contour. And then I'll go in with the puff and really press that in. Okay. So you could see the line, the white line that I put down my nose is really noticeable, especially like in person. But this is what I like to do when I'm photographing. Another thing I did that day was use highlight. And I don't really use highlight anymore like on my cheeks. If I do, it's like all over my cheek, just a little bit, not like the really, really, really intense one. But for the sake of this video, I'm here to show you guys what I was wearing for those pictures. And honestly, when you highlight your cheeks and all the highest points of your face in photos, it looks absolutely stunning. So if you do it in a tasteful way, in a tasteful way, I still love it, but I don't use it as much, I'm not gonna lie. But for pictures and stuff, it just really makes a huge difference. So, I'm gonna be spraying my brush. This thing, I've talked about this before, is so good, it is an exact dupe because I've had both for the Tatcha, do you spray what is it do we spray the purple one you know what i'm talking about this is bomb 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 so i'm gonna spray that and it smells it's so thin it's literally exactly the same it's like there's oil in it or something so i'm gonna take that this is what i used to do do like my cheek do my forehead i went heavy on the forehead like heavy heavy And they went heavy on the cheek as well. It's just not my taste to do like so much anymore. Then I'll go in with my brush and do like my eye, the, my eyebrow bone, my eyebrow bone, the tip of my nose. That is still something I do. So as of right now, I do like the tip of my nose, the inner corners of my eyes, and the bridge of my nose. And then I'll do like a light dust of highlight, like all over my cheek, kind of like with the blush brush. And it's like, and then I'll go in with my blush brush and kind of just like blend that out and marry it together and on the forehead on my nose everywhere just grabbed any palette but you know what i've actually been obsessed with in that photo i did have false lashes and like a wing i'm pretty sure but i'm not gonna do that today i've been obsessed with like a pinky like a light pink shadow so like the one that's in this palette like anything this shade, oh my god, I've been obsessed with it. I put it in my crease. I put it just everywhere. And I just love the tone that it gives to my skin and my hair. But this color, oh, this is actually a really nice color. I have not used this palette in a long time. The pink in here and the brown. Oh my god. I am very pleasantly surprised. I feel like I didn't like this palette that much when I first used it. Oh my god, I love this. This is like, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. This is like the perfect 
brown. I love that. Anyway, I'm going to do that at the bottom of my lash lines as well. I'm going to drag that. Now I'm going to go into doing my mascara and brows. And I wasn't going to show this part because I was like, whatever. Maybe I won't show my brows. Like, I do them really quick anyway. But my mascara, you guys, I bought an eyelash curler. I know this is not new. Like, everyone has an eyelash curler. I never had one because my lashes used to be like, they weren't long, but they were like pretty curly, not like naturally. But when I would put mascara on them, they'd stay up for a long time. They would curl really nicely and they just don't anymore. And I think it's because I use like false lashes, lash glue, mascara all the time. And just, they're just like damaged and tired. But this has held them up. Oh my God, let me show you the mascara I've been using too. Has helped them hold up like for so long. So yeah, if you've never tried an eyelash color, which I'm sure you have, get one. It makes a huge difference. And I do one eye at a time because I feel like the curl will fall if I don't go in like right away. And then this mascara, oh my god, TikTok made me buy this. It's so good. I've also been wanting to try the Maybelline Sky High. And when I saw the TikTok about it, I was in Mexico. And they have like drugstore makeup there too. They have Maybelline, L'Oreal, everything. But they didn't have that mascara. So I was like, oh, when I get home, I'll definitely try to look for it. Like, I'll just pick it up at Target. I didn't think it was going to be like that hard to get it. It was impossible i only went to two stores target and ulta but still it was impossible there was i asked them and the girl was like no they even we haven't gotten a shipment of that in like two weeks i'm just gonna have to wait for that one but i heard it's so good like look at this do you see that that looks so good so now i'm gonna go in my kk my kkw kkw my kylie cosmetics ice latte i did my eyebrows already by the way i just did something like really fast and natural this lipstick I kind of like that that was the dose of colors peach I think this was a collab that they did with this was a Desi and Katie one right yeah I'm gonna take a little bit of lip gloss from NYX I love this lip gloss this fortune cookie no it's Madeline I love this one lastly we're going to spray a little bit of the setting Milani setting spray onto our sponge quite a lot actually and go really heavy with it on the cheeks. Really heavy. Under the eyes and on the cheeks especially. You can even go directly on the face. But this has a really bad like spray or whatever. And it kind of squirts like too heavily sometimes. But it just gives you the most beautiful glow. And this will just be the most beautiful glowy natural looking skin of your life. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me coming back to talk to you guys and hang out and i'm sorry this took so long i hope you guys try this out let me know if you guys try this out like dm me on instagram my instagram's right here contact me on there and tell me how much you're loving this makeup routine if you guys have any other recommendations for me i would love to try them please send them my way comment them down below on this video or dm me on instagram comment on my pictures whatever you want to do